Hello, I'm Landrum Marini of Local Hero Post, and today we're going to be looking at a uh, scratch tutorial on uh, using dissolves to animate color effects instead of keyframes. So here we have a shot that uh, is a perfect example of something you could use dissolves on instead of uh, keyframing. Uh, let's say in this shot, director loves this shot, except for this one moment right here where this character turns around into a whole bunch of light and takes the attention away from our main character here. So traditionally, you would just draw a simple shape, animate it a little bit, and animate the light coming up and down as he turns around, like this. Let's just do a uh, simple grade on this to begin with. Uh, also interesting to note, we're not using any panels in this, um, in this example. Uh, this is all uh, running scratch off of a keyboard. No panels. Okay. Let's say that we were happy with something warmy like this. Okay, director's happy with that. So now, just for this one moment where he turns around, we're going to want to animate something over him. So I'm just going to draw a simple shape that just covers him just the lightest part of him actually I tend to draw sloppy shapes and then fix them one of the nice things about scratch is how uh, malleable these uh, custom shapes are you don't have to make them perfect because you can always alter them after the fact okay let's say we like that uh, simple animation so we'll set a keyframe there, we'll go back a little bit, set another keyframe, set another keyframe. And we'll just do some simple movement with him to keep it with him. So it roughly stays in place while we do our move. Okay, and at this point it's off anyway, so it doesn't matter. Okay, that's going to work fine for us. So, uh, what we're going to do is a very subtle effect here. Just knock down the luma just a little bit here. Knock down the sat just a little bit. All right, let's preview to see what effect that's having before we animate it at all. Okay, that's pretty good. It's sort of not catching the left side as much as I'd like. So, what we're going to do here after the fact uh, is extend it out a little bit. Okay, that, that's covering it pretty nicely. Let me get the face just a little bit more. Okay, good. So now, instead of uh, going to opacity here or uh, the lift cam again here and setting keyframes, those are not as malleable and as adjustable after the fact. Once you've set keyframes, they're a little bit uh, difficult to move. Uh, so another way to do this is to put in dissolves in the edit room. So let's say we wanted the, let's go the other way. Let's say right here we wanted it to be at its full intensity. I'm gonna insert a cut into this shot, put a dissolve, let's give it 15 frames before, zero frames after. So what this is doing now, now on this side of the dissolve, I'm gonna throw away, or even to be even tidier, I'll just turn off my scaffold. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna fade from a version of the shot with the scaffold off to a version of the shot with the scaffold on. And you can see what effect it's having. It's turning that scaffold on right when I want it to. And so conversely on the other side, right around here, we would insert a cut, dissolve. Let's give it 10 frames on the other side. Uh, the interesting thing is you can adjust uh, how many uh, frames after the fact you want this to go. So for example, so in this case, I'll show you an example of actually throwing away the scaffold. So it's having exactly the effect that we want it to. He turns around and there. Now I'm noticing that he's still too bright here. So what I'm going to do is make this guy, this scaffold, heavier after the fact. And make the in time shorter so it dissolves onto him quicker. There we go. 
So that's an example of why using dissolves to animate uh, color effects on and off is a little bit more flexible than traditional keyframing. Also, another way to think about this is if you, uh, I'm going to make this color really extreme so you can really see the effect that it's having. If you have a very complex grade with a lot of different scaffolds and you just need a few of them to turn on and off or oscillate on and off, like um, for example, if a character walks in front of a piece of, uh, uh, of the set and you see all the windows tracking with him, you could just put a dissolve in, a very short dissolve that would animate off and on some of the scaffolds that you would want to turn off. Very powerful tool. Um, think about using it uh, when you have a lot of different scaffolds that you need to do complex animations with. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching.